In this video today, I'm going to quickly explain how you can install Windows 11 without any bloatware, so all of those unwanted third party apps like Xbox, WhatsApp, Netflix, Candy Crush, TikTok, Instagram and so much more, which by the way, all of those can affect your performance negatively, I'm going to show you how to get rid of all those bloatware apps while installing Windows 11. It's really easy and simple to do, so if the video does help out, please be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe for more videos like this. Alright, so first things first, you've obviously got to install Windows 11 or upgrade to it. Um, a way you can do it is on Google, typing in Windows 11 like so, then giving it a search. If you go to the top link here, it should be a Microsoft.com link, it should say download Windows 11, give that a click. And then under the software download page, you can see there's a few different options. Now I do highly recommend um, installing Windows 11 fresh from a USB drive, but for a lot of you that are upgrading, you can just click the Windows Installation Assistant. After downloading it, you can open it, but first you want to make sure that you can actually run Windows 11 on your system. Um, and you can do this on Windows 10 by going on the start menu at the bottom left, then typing in PC Health Check, and then click this app right here. And this app right here will basically allow you to run a scan to see if your PC does indeed meet the system requirements to run Windows 11. You can go ahead and check now, and just like that, it should say if you can or can't install Windows 11 with your current system requirements. As you can see on here, it says that it's great news and you can actually install Windows 11. And going on to the next step, um, this is where you can actually decide what you want to do. Now I highly recommend doing a complete fresh install and then getting everything back on your PC, but obviously you'll have to back up and all that. But please do that at your own risk, make sure you do keep all your files and stuff. From there though, with you being able to install, you can go ahead and open up the assistant, and then this is where you can actually set up Windows 11. And it'll just give you the option to set it up like you normally do. And the first screen that you should encounter is this Windows setup page, where you can click the language to install. On this, you want to go ahead and select English World, not English United Kingdom or United States or whatever you were going to choose, make sure to choose English World. And then once you go through the rest of the process to set up Windows 11 from fresh, this will result in the cleanest install ever for Windows 11. You can see that there's basically zero bloatware on the operating system itself. Before you can see all these different apps are coming pre-installed for reasons I don't know why, it's just super annoying. I mean obviously you can go ahead and individually remove each one, but after changing a simple language setting you can see that this results in a super clean optimal Windows 11 which is exactly what we want and now you can go ahead and watch my next video where you can optimize Windows 11 for your PC. In addition to that you can configure the best NVIDIA settings for the best performance. 